Imagine a world where coral reefs are as abundant as a buffet at all you can eat seafood restaurant. You would say, why should I care about the corals? They're simply colorful rocks. But that's not true. Globally, only 1% of the ocean bed is covered with the corals, which provide a habitat for over 25% ocean life, making it hugely important. And although healthy corals should look like something on your screen, they are more turning towards bleached deserts which do not provide us with the ecological benefits that they do. Hi, my name is Ajay and I am the Ocean Educator and work as a Media Manager at Bowseed Ocean Awareness Programs. I am also the advisor at World Ocean Day and the Ocean Project. At the Nature Conservancy and the National Geographic Society, I have been mentored by some of the world's leading scientists in marine protected areas. A recent study by marine ecosystems in India showed that coral reefs offer an ecological and tourism value of 751 billion rupees in livelihood as well as protein requirement for 800 million people of the country, making it hugely important. Unfortunately, amidst the rising ocean temperatures, hurricanes and human impacts like bottom trawling, deep sea mining, our coral reefs are rapidly declining, putting the ocean animals into jeopardy. This has directly impacted the coastal communities and ben benefits that they received from the ocean. Introducing the Coral Conservancy, the first of its kind from youth by youth coral transplantation project that uses modern methodologies and technologies to increase reef reefscapes in the ocean. The Coral Conservancy follows a three-step framework. First, we collect detached pieces of corals from the ocean, then we nurture them in an artificial nursery, and finally, in two to three years, we transplant them back in the ocean, hoping that they will team up with life once again. Our first initiative will be the formulation of Youth Coral Action Toolkit, which will be a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide for youth from countries in global south, like Asia and Africa, to understand and implement similar projects in their own nations. We understand the infrastructural and economical barriers that these countries might be facing, and will formulate the toolkit as such. Our project will be the project will have multiple positive impacts on the community, including increased fish catch, better tourism opportunities, healthy oceans, and increased efforts in wildlife conservation. Our markets include Best in Best, stakeholders, advisors, and collaborators, including the World Ocean Day, the Ocean Project, and Bowseed, which while direct markets include coral adopters, merchandise revenue, and guided tours. Our overall focus is on 30 by 30 action plan and SDG 14, followed by intersectional SDGs that play an important role in coastal communities. And by the end of first year, we hope to have the toolkit ready with, while aiming to the second year to have at least 25 fragments restored in our nursery. That said, by the end of fifth year, we hope to have a full-fledged coral garden with increased scope within youth engagement, awareness creation, followed by entry into a policy exchange. With the upcoming El Nino effect expected to bleach over 40 to 85% of coral reefs this year, we're hoping that this project will have a great impact. And we hope that you will accept us as a part of the Youth Innovation Prize. Thank you so much.